Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's JR, and you are checking out the Sport Brief. LeBron to the New York Knicks. We are at the end of the year 2009. 2010 will be here in a few months, and we're getting ready also to begin the NBA season, which is going to be a lot of NBA talk. And for whatever reason, there's been a whole lot of coverage of LeBron James in New York. I know he was here the past week to promote his film. I know he was all over the media. I know he was kind of teased by Jon Stewart about coming to New York. But here's my point. The 09-010 season has not even started. And it seems like LeBron James gets more attention here in New York City than any other player that's even on the Knicks right now. And quite honestly, I can't blame him. I mean, what are we going to talk about here? What are these newspaper writers going to talk about? Look at some of these headlines over the past two to three days by beat writer Frank Isola of the Knicks and Mitch Lawrence. Look at these headlines. LeBron could be Knicks key. Excuse me, LeBron's friend could be the Knicks key. Knicks season takes a backseat to LeBron's big decision. Knicks free agents must show class to see if LeBron James arrives. Now, I know there isn't too much optimism here in New York for the upcoming season, and it's just one big old wait to see what happens with LeBron James. But can the sports writer and the media come up with something much more complex? I mean, I know at every point in the season, there's going to be something. When, look at this. When Jared Jeffries blows a layup, we wonder if LeBron is going to come. When Eddie Curry pulls his next hamstring or goes for the next box of donuts, oh, we wonder if LeBron is going to come. Now, in Cleveland, do you think they care as much about, oh, well, is LeBron going to go to the Knicks? They're trying to worry about this upcoming season. They got a big seven-foot guy named Shaq coming in, and they want to know how things turn out after they blew it in last year's Eastern Conference Finals. And in Cleveland, guess what? They don't have much to talk about anyway in regards to sports. What are they going to talk about? Eric Mangini? I mean, what are they going to talk about? Uh, uh, Brady Quinn? Are they going to talk about the Browns? What else do they have? They don't even have another. They don't even have a hockey team, and it's cold in Cleveland. But anyway, Cleveland, they have something to worry about. Here in New York, we don't. But the sports writers and the media, can you come up with something? Can we stop talking about LeBron James for a little while? And LeBron, if you're watching, what's up? But enough of you, especially here in New York City. Let's focus on the upcoming season, which the Knicks will probably uh be under 500 and do bad, and then worry about 2010, and then worry about all of the Dwayne Wades and, 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 and Amari Stoudemire and everybody else that's going to be available. Let management worry about that. Show some creativity if you are a sports writer in New York City and talk about something else besides LeBron James. I want to hear about Danilo Gattinati going out there and just chucking shots and how great a shooter he is and his back hurts. That's what I want to hear about. The Knicks had media day this past Monday. I didn't get a chance to make it out there, but it's like it was the LeBron show. I'm pretty sure all the New York Knicks are tired of hearing about LeBron James. Do I hope LeBron comes? Of course I do. If you remember correctly, Michael Jordan was a free agent in 1996, and he said, you know what, uh, screw the Knicks, I'll go right back to Chicago. LeBron James may not even know where he's going next year, or he may. The man could be playing his cards the right way. But... July 1st, we'll find out. But until July 1st, everybody just chill out and relax. Now, if you're in Cleveland, let me know how you feel about LeBron James possibly leaving. Do you think the guy's going to go? Do you think he's going to come to New York? And if you're in New York City, please, how do you feel about LeBron coming to New York? Let's get this all out the way, and hopefully when the season starts, we'll focus on how terribly the Knicks are doing while the Cavaliers are moving ahead in the standings. Hit me up, jrsportbrief at gmail.com. Go find me on Twitter. Put some messages down there. I'll talk to you guys. I am out, but I'll be back before July 1st, 2010, so look out for me. Later.